Good day, beautiful soul family, and welcome back to On Another Level. And so today, today's a marvelous day. It's a very enlightening day. Not only is it enlightening where it's about understanding the light that is within you, um, but it's also about being enlightened in terms of um, burdens, heavy burdens, falling away, just fe feeling light. And so beautiful soul family, um, outside, they're doing constructions, they're doing rejuvenation work, updating work. And let me make sure this is recording. So please excuse the, the noise that is on the outside, but also pay attention to the noise that is, don't let it take all of your focus, don't, just understand that rejuvenation is taking place, reconstruction, demolition, beautification. Pruning. And so I wrote down, uh, Divine Spirit was really, as, as I go throughout my day, Divine Spirit, I thank you so much for entrusting in me with, with these downloads to uplift consciousness, to uplift our hearts. Because first and foremost, your heart is my audience. The messages are for your soul to bring forth healing, to bring forth nourishment. And if it's thirsty, to quench that thirst. It is not me, it is the message. And so today I'm also sharing my testimony. I'm sharing my testimony. And the Vice Spirit is telling me to say it first before the message. So here's my testimony. As of young, I've gone through many situations. Um, Abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse. Um, there were times where I couldn't speak for myself, where I couldn't speak at all. Stand up for myself. I had low self-esteem, low confidence. Everything was on a low. The one thing I did have for me is that even though I was low self-esteem, I was always like positive. A nickname that sticks to me no matter what is smiles. And so I think it is the smiles that kind of, um, it's my strength. It is the strength that exudes out of me. It is how I'm able to shine a little bit of my light as it constantly grows throughout my lifetime. And so what's so interesting is that um, a lot of things have happened. Um, there are times where I did feel like Cinderella. There were times where I did feel and wonder, you know, it's about that wandering energy. And so um, I went to the military, got married, had two, be have two beautiful sons, and um, my husband passed away. I ended up getting out of the military because it was either go to the military and do six more months of deployment, and at such a delicate time in our lives, my family and I, my sons and I lives, it was very delicate because their dad, my husband, which was an ex, passed away. And it was so interesting because towards the end it seemed like we were getting closer in terms of friendship. Um, but anyways, he passed away, and I was very sad because my grandma passed away in Jamaica 
But my mom and I were not able to, um, we weren't able to go to the funeral. And my mom ended up being sick. And, um, so many things happen, you know. Uh, when people are presented the opportunity to take um, inheritance, uh, energy, they will do it. And so my mom and herself, she had to go through situations because um, an aunt by the name of Marlene Cunningham, uh, she stole, she had inheritance. But she also took my mom's share. My mom has gone through many different things. My mom and I haven't had a real strong relationship. Um, but one thing that I can say to this very day is that she made sure that I read the Bible. And she wore forth discipline in my life. It wasn't so nourishing. But I feel like in, in all ways, shape, or form, it helped me to be the woman that I am today helped me to be independent. It was that vigor, determination also, also that it was, it, that's within me that got me into the military. And, but I've always been that independent type person. And so, but anyways, our inheritance was stolen. And for a while, my mom was very much upset. My mom's a Jehovah's Witness. I have chosen not to be a Jehovah's Witness because I just felt like something was not feeding me and connecting to me. There are certain things like I love to love people no matter what. I will always love people. And there are certain things about charity that um, I don't choose. When I was in the military, my family and I, we would, we would go home. We had a surplus of food, so we would go home and make sandwiches and get our waters, and we'll go to the different people in, that were on the streets, and we would give out as much food as we possibly could. But that was by the um, divine spirit moved me to do it. And you know, the thing about it is, is that you can have friends and family that can. It, it's it's really about your personal walk. And it's about hearing divine spirit of when um, you're moved to do such things as giving forth charity and help. And it's not going to be according to who you choose. It's according to who divine spirit chooses. And you are there to bring forth either the message or to carry off the action, to pay it, pay it forward. And there are def different times in which I, I would see people whether at the bus stop and I would give to that person and all of a sudden they would disappear and there's just other things that happen in my life but the major thing that uh, you know is about the steady growth and so I had to come to understanding of our inheritance being stolen and and the heavy denial and the fact that she didn't even apologize the mere fact that my mom didn't even press charges is something that my sister and I carry to this day of wondering why not. And <sighs> did little did I know that all of these different things that were happening in my life were just prerequisites of understanding, it's just different pieces coming together to see an even bigger picture. An even bigger picture of forgiveness. <laughs> An even bigger picture of how, as we're hearing the reconstruction going on on the outside, it's that of which is going on on the inside. We may not hear these noise of how, you know, different things are being sawed away or different things are being um, glued together or, you know, whatever is part of the process of reconstruction, of rejuvenation. Okay, um, of the mending, of the healing. Okay, but as you lean off the different the, um, different wisdoms from the different lessons that you learn in your life, you're able to say, okay, all is well. 
with my soul because I know that in each of these different situations in my life, I am able to heal. I am able to be developed and yet for strengthened. And I'm able to utilize forgiveness because all these different scenarios help me to forgive. Forgive not only others, but forgive myself. And so, um, my mom, she disowned me at 17, tore up my birth certificate and all my baby pictures. And it was just, it was weird. It was weird. Moved in with my stepdad, found out that that wasn't a good idea. Went to the military. Came out of the military. I was homeless. I had to learn different lessons. I had to understand that I was carrying on habits from my mom because it was it was not good spending habits, but it was it was tacked into lack mindedness, generational curse it seems. I had to get over a whole bunch of things. And there's still more things to get over. Moved around. Learned. Uh, learned a lot. And I still continue to learn. Moved to California. I joined a church. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I wanted to belong. I guess I wanted to overcome certain energies that I felt from certain people and to come into the midst of congregating with them, to love them. When I realized there was really no love in the midst, and if anything, love was under the will. It wasn't about love. And in so many different ways, again, end up being homeless. House was being sold, beautiful condo, and they decided to sell it during a time frame in which it was COVID, so we had to move. And I'm moving into Arizona. Doing my channel, I've had miracles beneath the surface since 2018, February 8th. And it's been just me. And there's been different things that's happened on, on Miracles Beneath the Surface and Infinite Miracles Beneath the Surface and now on another level, Oracle. And as you see now, it's on another level, Ministry. And each way I learned about self-love, self-care, self-nurture. I opened myself up to different readers who I've come to find where at least one reader I thought I could trust and he was not someone I could trust and it was sad because I, I prayed for him but I didn't know I learned about not um, putting people on a pedestal learn about the truths of you know how a person shows themselves is not always who they are and sometimes we ourselves set up the expectations and thinking wow this is a wonderful guru but you don't know what's going on behind the scenes and so anyways I device for is showing me you know even more my spiritual gifts are strengthening you know and um more downloads, more, more uploads. Some uploads were being hidden. Some energy was drastically taken. And each step of the way I had to forgive. Forgive, forgive, and not only forgive, because you can forgive and still hold on and still close yourself. But it was not only just about forgiving others, also forgiving self and for releasing it into Divine Spirit's hands. Releasing it with peace. And so I had to learn a lot of things, a lot of lessons, self-taught, 
self-paced and still looking in my life and still getting rid of things like the Vice Spirit says look you are the Oracle and you are bringing forth the message I don't need cards all I need is to find spirit like in that final hour it is not me throwing down cards or dice it is me pulling from my heart and everything that I pull from my heart is scriptures seeds planted and these are things that they can't see and these are things that are unbeknownst as to why I am still healed it is likened to the analogy where the vice was showing me how there is so much weaponry on the table but I reach for the heart because I'm more connected to the heart and the heart as I'm going as I'm on the battle lines and I'm moving forward to the other side each person that comes towards me they either drop their sword and receive the healing or or they come against themselves but as I continue to go through I myself am being healed if I need a shield my heart turns into a shield if I need any type of reverie, reverie, it will be truth because it's the sword of truth. And it continues to carry me forward. Where I'm not continuing on a vicious cycle of fighting, but I am moving forward with love. And so as I pull the scriptures out from my heart that I need, the Vice Spirit will call it to memory because that is it blossoming. As it is, this, you know, what I'm seeing is a flower blossoming upwards as it's looking to the sun the direction of the sun it blossoms it opens up it blooms right and so the, the thing about it is is that the scriptures that are within my subconscious that I pull from my heart is that constant flow that infinite flow and it empowers me I, you know, it's, it invigorates me. It's my passion. Okay? And so Divine Spirit had me throw away the oracles too. It's such a, like, instructed me to, to do it in a certain way. And so there's a lot of pruning taking place, but Divine Spirit continues to give me messages. And today I was listening to Habakkuk, like actually a, a, a Habakkuk. The book of Habakkuk. And I would say a few days ago, because I was like, Divine Spirit, I want to know what's, what, what book do you want me to start with so I can read it through and through, so that I can continue to nourish my spirit, continue to nourish my soul. Okay, because based on how the mind is, the body will follow suit. And I want it to be moving forward in harmony. And so Divine Spirit brought me to Habakkuk. And so I was listening to it, audio Bible, and and like the whole is a very short book, but something was shining through in a major way. And so along with the different downloads that the Divine Spirit was showing me, that is my testimony. My testimony is that there's a constant pruning. As you go with them with self-love, self-care, self-nurture, there's a constant pruning, a constant editing of self. So that you can be in harmony. You see, as the different instruments are tuning, the orchestra is tuning in. As they all have tuned in their instruments and they're about to come together to play a beautiful melody. They are all able to work together in harmony because they were able to edge out and edit out anything that is in that is not harmonious and as each of us are in tune with our heart in tune we are able to pursue and to fulfill our purpose it's not about living a life of being a template, but being original. And that's what's so beautiful. The Vice Spirit is telling me the world will always divide. We got disorder, 
We got division, divide, die, vision. They want your vision to die. Okay? We've got distractions, temptations. Really, it's temptations that are meant to distract, which will later on bring forth a disturbance. Okay? Steal, kill, and destroy. And these are different lessons that we're learning in our lives. The Divine Spirit is telling me that, you know, okay, so there's disgrace, there's disappointments, there's dis-ease. You know, it's all things that are bringing death. But the Divine Spirit will use all of those things so that you can disintegrate the world, disconnect from the world, and be truly reconnected, rejuvenated with the Divine Spirit. And if you take joy within the world, and you take comfort in the world, then you are of the world. And you have to say, okay, if I'm without this and I'm without that, how will I be? So it's, a, it's about codependency. And that's the thing that they teach. Um, that's the thing that they teach. Codependency, not going within, because the reason why they don't want you to go within is because greater is the divine spirit that is within you, and that is within me, that that of which is in the world. And you reconnecting to that is you not only being empowered, but being powerful. Okay? Because it's one thing to have power, but will you turn on the light? Will you get in tune? Will you get connected? Will you plug in? Okay, so there's power, but you must plug in in order to be activated. Okay, so you are not of the world, you're of the earth. Okay, you have resources that are free because they're your gift and they complement you. It's not only that it's free, it's free, but it complements you and you complement. And that's the beauty of divine spirits. Um, creation. Hold on one second. I have to look because um, whenever it comes to a message, sometimes it gets stopped. So, another thing that Divine Spirit was saying to me is that uh, the world mimics the earth and it's in conflict but the world is codependent on the earth so I remember reading a scripture and it was talking about how can you and it was in the Old Testament but how can you want victory and that of which enslaves you if you continue to have connections with it. And that's why the Vice Spirit had me get rid of all my tarot and oracle cards. Listen, this is my life. I'm not making no judgment on you. I'm sharing my testimony. Okay? Um, and so it's about the different prunings that take place because it's about those little access openings. Now, truth be told, it, is, it was Divine Spirit that's guiding me, was and is and will always guide me. But you don't want to leave adult, you don't want to leave an opening for anything else. Okay? You don't want to leave an opening for anything else. And so I gladly destroy anything that'll pro that try to put a, a, a block or a gapping um, between me and Divine Spirit. Because um, Divine Spirit doesn't need any help. The Vice Spirit's word is everlasting. And so here we have uh, take small steps of faith to make giant leaps of faith. And it's about that steady growth, this that progression. That you may not be strong to make big leaps, but because you're making those small steps of faith, with faith, you're able to make those different leaps. 
be able to make those different leaps and, and actually when you connect each step you realize I did take a leap I have accomplished a lot I have brought forth a clearing in my life okay and next I put pruning so each way you're pruning at self taking things away it's about losing it's not about gaining beautiful soul family it's about losing the world it's about bringing forth disconnections and anything that is is looked upon in the world just like a, a wealthy person they look at the a person that's in poverty and they say I'm not doing that and so beautiful soul family we are spiritually strong abundant we have even though the inheritance was taken from my mom which was inadvertently taken away from my sister and I Um, nothing has taken away from spiritual inheritance and it's up to you I've always talked about spiritual inheritance because I'm guided by divine spirit spiritual inheritance spiritual intimacy going in prayer see that's always been a part of me that is my roots and what's so beautiful is that whatever which way you you're going you are staying rooted it is helping you to understand that this is a process of growth as you're moving forward how are you moving forward are you moving forward with a, a victimized mind victimized mind will have you stay in the past and it's sad because you can be your mind will be in the past and your body will be present right but your body will follow suit according to your mind so if your mind is stuck in the past in any way shape or form your body could be getting healing but you're not receiving that healing you have to move from the past how you move from the past by using the cat utilizing the catalyst of forgiveness and forgiveness allows you to be in tune mind body and spirit with the present, be present and accounted for, being accounted for, for yourself, for forgiveness, choosing, willingly choosing to forgive. And as you're doing that, you're moving forward with victory, okay, because you're not divided. Your mind is not going this way and your body's here. How can you move forward to the future if there's a disarray, if there's a div division? And so what's happening is that healing, if anything, brings forth balance. And as you are mindful, you're forgiving, you hand it over to Divine Spirit, then you're, what's happening is you are, your mind is coming from the past and is joining your body in the present and you become mindful, understanding what is taking place and then you're able to move forward with victory victory consciousness, higher consciousness. So the Vice Spirit was also telling me that there are people of the world and they're likened to the soil. And there are many different types of people, people that choose to be asleep, people that are, are asleep. But as this is not about really other people at this point, it starts with you, self-love, self-care, self-nurture is about the Vice Spirit, I love you, but I love myself. And the more I love myself, I love you. How can I love you if I don't love myself? How can I honor you if I don't honor myself? How can I respect you if I don't respect myself? How can I have compassion? How can I see from a higher plane when I think so low of myself? And so it's all connected. It's truly all connected. Those that are of the world, especially when they sell their souls, what they don't tell you, what you see on the outside, is that they're able to manifest all this money, and they are able to manifest all the stuff. But the thing about it is, is all the stuff that they're manifesting is not everlasting; it's temporary. Anything that the divine spirit gives you, all you gotta do is ask, and you shall receive. It will go through the process of time because it's about taking away things, energies, so that you can raise your vibration and complement that of which. It's of your higher self. Those of the world, what they don't tell you is that those of the world, they may sell their souls or they may do rituals, all these different things so that they can receive wealth, abundance, money, notoriety, 
okay whatever it is dot 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 you fill in the blank but the thing about it is what they don't show you is that like a drug dealer they give it to you for free but they only give you a taste and then you get hooked and then what ends up happening is that you want more you see the people that are of the world they take people's energy they they even become addicted to people's energy because they have been locked out of self for different reasons they don't go within they're tempted that taste then they're distracted from going within and then they're disturbed okay and then what the Divine Spirit was showing me is that people who are of the world people who sell their souls especially to have things of the world they come to see that they have been bamboozled because now they have to continue to do all the things that they're doing and if they don't then they will be in grief these are people that are already hurt and broken and so even Satan demons will direct them to certain people that have energy and what's so interesting is the vice Lord is telling me you know Satan doesn't have power or authority he really doesn't but will take see Satan steals kills and destroys all right and so when Satan or any demon blesses gives someone money energy or whatever is because they stole it from divine people and so that's the taste but in order for them to have it they have to now get engaged in stealing other people's energy and and um, harvesting of others um, and they have an insatiable insatiable uh, appetite and it's greed which is part of the deadly sin so it's greed you know then there's covetousness there's so much that they are opening themselves to and it was more than they bargained for they pay the price and that's the whole thing about the this there's temptation there is distractions the whole point about the distractions is to prevent you from going within to see that you are beautifully and wonderfully made you are blessed and they continue to do this Satan continues to do this doesn't do anything new okay and so the divine spirit was just telling me that the snake moves in a search in a certain way because the snake in itself is vulnerable so it has to move in certain ways and continue to repetitively move in those ways so that it itself doesn't get killed So then we have people that they harvest off your energy because they're not happy. Because they have to continuously do this. One of the movies that I mentioned before was um, The Sleep Doctor. And sadly enough, you know, these people, they wanted immortality. Or they wanted, I think it's immortality. They wanted to live forever. But then they didn't understand that they had to constantly harvest off of divine beings energy in order and the sad thing about it is that they sold their soul that was the energy that they had all together the very energy that they're coming up against and taking from somebody else has always been with them it's like that it's like that I'm um, thinking grow rich where the person sold his land and his house because he wanted to go out and find treasure, find find more diamonds or find diamonds. And his land, there was diamonds in the rough. Okay? And you may sell something because you think that you're eluded to thinking that it's not good enough, that it's, you again, looking down at yourself, right? Um, but the thing about it is, is that is the illusion. You see, people who sell their souls, they end up needing to harvest off of other energy and essence so that they can produce. But see, the very thing that they sold was the very thing that helped them to produce. 
okay? If I'm coming across clearly. So here, the Vice Bear was telling me about energy. So I've always said energy and motion, right? Your emotions is energy and motion. And energy itself is that N is in energy. The inner greatness that is within you. And that is the very thing that empowers you. Okay? Emotion. Energy. Empowerment. Emotion. As you are empowered, it moves you forward. As you are empowered, the essence of divine spirit, the Holy Spirit, helps you to move forward. Helps you to heal. Helps you to co-create beauty. Helps you to co-create things that are new. And I have to keep on getting up to see if this is recording. And I'm sorry about that, but uh, these are just different things I have to do. And so, it's a movement. Self-love, self-care, self-nurture is a movement. It's you disconnecting from the world and seeing how you complement the earth and how the earth complements you. Divine Spirit was bringing me back to when Cain was rejected, cursed, but the earth rejected Cain by looking at it as a fugitive and a, vag a vagabond. That is not how the earth looks at you. Beautiful soul family, you are not a fugitive or a vagabond. You complement the earth. You complement and reflect the image of divine spirit. And so that is that movement. But you first got to go within in order to understand what is. Go within to understand the truth that is within you. And so that's the thing that is so beautiful. Satan ensla ens um, enslaves, ensnares, brings forth delusions. And it's really about Satan, you know, because... <laughs> In Genesis, it talks about how the snake is cursed to the ground to eat up the dust. What's so interesting is that Satan, in every way, shape, or form, is a prosecutor against humanity. Always proving how humanity is not worthy, is not good enough for divine spirit. Always trying to prove something. Always looking out of self. See, the same thing. It's nothing new. So here you get a karmic or a host who is looking outside of self to someone else and making complaints. Who is this person? You see, it's the same thing. And it's not so much about who you're seeing, but it's about the influence. That of which is the hand that is running the show. Nothing's new. And when you go within with self-love, self-care, self-nurture, you'll be able to see because Divine Spirit brings forth the clarity in your life so that you can see. My next testimony is that Yeshua is real. It was so interesting because yes, you are Israel, Israel. You are not fake. You are not a template. You are an original. You know, in the Bible it says that the Divine Spirit spoke life into existence and saw that it was good. And when you think about the words of Divine Spirit, frequencies and vibrations creates. Divine Spirit sent His Word manifest in the flesh. And nothing that Divine Spirit speaks into existence comes back undone. There is no promise that Divine Spirit has made and comes back unaccomplished. And so Divine Spirit sent His Word 
So when we think that the Divine Spirit doesn't hear us, yes, the Divine Spirit hears us and it's already done. Immediately, the Divine Spirit sent His Word and His Word became flesh. His Holy Spirit, there in Yeshua, a pure sacrifice, sent on a mission. His life was a full purpose. met us, each of us, where we stood. Took on torture, took on our pain, took on our sins. His life wasn't taken. He gave it. It was a ransom that is given. The shedding of his blood. Because truth be told, beautiful soul family, Satan tempted distracted, and brings forth disturbance, steals, kills, and destroys. And that's his ammo. But the Divine Spirit gives forth life, makes life, gives life. It's infinite. It's eternal. The Divine Spirit sent his word. His word represented divine spirit. His word brought forth healing. His word brings forth wisdom. His word brings forth truth. His word brings forth discernment. His word brought forth a lot of beatings a lot of tearing away, but to this very day still exists. And to this very day meets us where we stand and has many levels to his word. And so, yes, Yeshua is the Son of God. Is divine spirit's word manifests in flesh brought forth healing in so many different ways, broke bondages to set us free, paid that ransom, brought forth the clearing. As I mentioned, the Vice Spirit was showing me, um, when the soldiers pierced his side, watch her came out. It was declaring, it is done, it's complete. Took back the key. Divine Spirit also showed me that he went where those demons were back from the flood. And he, he, he spoke with them. And in the same like way, Divine Spirit is telling me that as we understand ourselves, we are speaking to the many demons in our life, the many people who are hosts, the many people who are enslaved and in bondage. And when we heal with forgiveness, we take back our power and we ascend. Yeshua set the tone. We are the body of Christ and the Holy Spirit you see, we are the church. And so it's important to forgive. It's important to utilize unconditional love. Because that is who we are. That is our walk in love. Our walk with the Holy Spirit. Again, coming back to um, Genesis when Adam and Eve walked with Divine Spirit. No longer wandering in mind and body. But as we go within, we are home. Foundations are upon love. And so as we raise our consciousness, as we claim Jesus as our Lord and Savior, because it is true. You know, it's like when you watch those superheroes, 
um, movies, Superman, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and all of that, people are so happy. They're so like, oh, we're saved, right? And it sticks with them. But Yeshua came and saved us, was sent to save us. And there's so many people likened to those lepers who received the healing, but did not return to say thank you. Only one did. But it all it takes is one. All it takes is one step in the right direction. All it takes is one seed. All it takes is you to go within. And so that is my testimony, that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And it's not something that is faint, that is here one minute and gone the next. No, it's everlasting. And in hopes that as I share my testimony, I'm going to continue to speak about self-love, self-care, self-nurture. The Vice Spirit says, remove those cards because you are the oracle, bringing forth the message. And it's not me codependent on the cards, but me codependent on the Divine Spirit. And that's how it's really always been. I get downloads, but I get downloads from Divine Spirit. And it's that constant connection and renewal. It can happen for me and it can happen for you. Beautiful soul family, I thank you so much. Um, I feel like there's so much more that I gotta talk about. <laughs> but I think for now, it's about the steady growth. The steady knowing that greater is within you now you don't have to wait oh one day will happen no greater is within you now than that of which is in the world have a beautiful and wonderful day namaste